This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Okay, yeah. It's good, guys. How you doing? Well, yeah. it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. I'm trying to get to the Friday mood, but it's not working. Really? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Every day is Friday for me. We are not sounding <laughs> like it's Friday. <laughs> Talk more of it being every day. What? You're not sounding like it's Friday. Yeah. Because I had my Friday yesterday. Oh, huh. great. Okay. Moving on to the story, Sheon Kuti says the federal government of Nigeria still owes his family compensation and an apology. He made this known in a recent interview. He also said it's a shame that we're still ruled by the same people his father, Fela, was talking about about 35 years ago, and that is very poor, stating that we need to do better. Hmm. Fellow, fellow, it's all during his lifetime, like he saw the future, because most of the things he said in his songs are still relevant today, and most of those things are still happening. Um, he spoke against the current government a lot, and everything he said about, um, before you guys call me out for hate speech, let me just be <laughs> careful. So, um, most of the things he said are still the things happening and then like Femi said, um, the people his father spoke against thirty five years ago. Sure. I mean sorry, Sean, mm. yeah. Sean um said like um the people his father spoke about thirty five years ago are still the ones ruling us, which is very sad. Like yeah. how are we going to ever move forward if the same people are ruling us like they're not even giving other people a chance to so it's like a cycle, like we just have to so I don't, I don't really see any change happening until those people leave power. So yeah, and really they do owe his family apologies. Because based on? Based on um, how they treated his father, his grandmother, and all of that, yeah. They do owe them apology. Mm. Uh, it's a very interesting um, concept that he's dealing with. Because he mentioned further down in his comments that he mentioned Shorori and that how they have a lot in common. And he used that word that I never know how to pronounce well, Dema something, um, which basically just means when people, people in, the po in politics use the emotions of Demago. people. Is that how you say it? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, how Demagokri. you. Something like that. Um, yeah. Well, that's the continuous sentence, um, sentence, but the noun is Dema. Okay. He used both of them actually in oh. the sentence, yeah. Um, which is pretty much just when the politicians use staring emotions rather than actually just rationally arguing. And he's saying that we should stop emotionalizing Shuri, which is facts, everybody's like, oh, he's doing this for us and blah, 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 blah. And he's saying there's even more, so you just use facts, that like you can use facts to defend this person. And then he also for that then mentioned that what Shuri is saying isn't just um, associated to Shuri. So Shuri isn't the founder of this ideology. That there's many people, blah, blah, blah. Um, to me, that contradicts the first bit of him saying that we, need, we then need to apologize to Fela, because Fela wasn't the only person fighting the government then. And then there's a government compensate every family member that has fought for... Um, apologize to them. Yes. No, and then also compensate them. It's not just um, fighting. It's about what did they do to... They oppress the Kutis. But as, um, as I'm saying, they're not only the Kutis that they oppressed. Okay, but they can't be the only, they can't be the only people that. Yeah, but theirs was like public, and we all knew about it. It was right. public knowledge, and then we all Anybody saw it. Anybody the government is oppressing is usually public knowledge. It's never you're never being oppressed behind silence. the scene. I mean, if, well, I think what you're trying to say is if, 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 if you say if, if the Kuti family um, deserves an apology, then it will show Inka also deserves yeah, an apology. apology. You know, everybody that have gone through that. Um, line of fighting for us you know yeah I, because i thought you know when, when he was saying i thought he because he i thought he was saying something special had happened to fella but then you go ahead to say that something special shouldn't be happening to sure that sure has a lot of people just like him mm -hmm. and that she's rational so i'm just giving i'm just using what he's yeah. mentioned but what he's saying is still facts i mean 
even dwell on, on compensation. It's a serious problem to have a president that we were talking about five years ago still be in power today. I think that just speaks so, a, a lot of volume. Um, it's, it's, this, I've, I've always said it, Nigeria and disappointing to me is the same, one and the same. Like, if we could rename the country and it's all around in every ramification, it's just, it's so, it's just so disappointing. Everything <laughs> about how this country runs is disappointing. Um, and I, I, for Shemu to still be alive here, to see that his, what his father was talking about ages ago is still running now, must be, must be discouraging. Mm -hmm. But um, for me, but I... But have to rename the country, what do you mean? Disappointing. <laughs> I'm from disappointing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, um, what he's saying now is something we've, we've actually agreed on for a long time. So you say, oh, what fella is saying is still happening now. We're yeah. being ruled by those that ruled us when we're still children yeah. and all that. But the real question for me is what exactly is the way forward? Because mm. we, we're saying it, we know it, we say it, we go back to bed, we say it, we... Like, is, is there I really think, I a think way? we actually know the way forward, which, which is, we tried, um, the not-too-young-to-run bill, but um, we saw how that yeah, That was passed. What? Yeah, yeah it, it was passed. passed. But what many, he's saying you know, is that the execution of it doesn't yeah, still make execution. sense because we still have the mentality that a young person can't. Can. See, because it's not the mentality now; it's the dynamics of politics in Nigeria. Exactly. So it's, so it's, it's not, not like we do not. But I don't even think it's a dynamics because there, there is young people that are running. We just there don't are want young to, people to in pick power them. right now. They they are definitely not the president, but we have. We're talking yeah. about people that run. And if, to be honest, if it, they've even they've even messed us up as well. Isn't it the youngest? person in the thingy that was slapping a sex toy mm -hmm. um worker so i don't i don't know i said disappointing um <laughs> okay let's just move on to the next story kevin hart is trying to get his sex tape lawsuit thrown out of court simply because the process server literally tossed his papers hart was sued in september for a whooping 60 million dollars by montia sebab sebag who claimed her 2017 encounter with Hart was set up by the actor and JT Jackson to secretly record a sex tape? Mm. Please, if is this enough? Enough for a reason to throw um, the case first out of all, court? Idea, um, I don't know about throwing it out of court because it was his property. But um, if you're supposed to serve um, anyone with any court order and stuff, they should get it in person. You just don't throw it on their property and um the Wait. way that should be done even if you want to put it on your property with in their absence is that you put it in a place that they can see it like your front door but if that doesn't happen is it worth throwing the case away because they weren't served right yeah because if i wasn't served i can tell you that so can I just not reserve you after that? Like if you throw it away, can I then go back and give it to you properly in your hands? Yeah, if they can do that, then because that makes it, just, just what I mean. Like then, then what's the point? Like I, I just I, if I just have to reserve you, the, if if that isn't worth throwing the case out and never revisiting, like if you say okay, you didn't serve me well, so therefore we can never revisit this case. Oh, oh I had no idea. Yeah, that for, I was even in court. So you're already there. You for you to be there and trying to throw it out, it means you looked at it. You agree that you've been. <laughs> Said. It's so confusing. You know, so it's, it's it's really confusing. I don't know how because it's, it's the story out. now is between it's a, a, a triangle that um, where they're doing the blame game mm -hmm. because um, the lady is saying Kevin. JT and Hart were in it together. Mm -hmm. Kevin is saying he's a he's a he victim by, by his JT. Friend. Yeah. We don't know whether and some people even Who think allegedly tried to extort him. Exactly. For $5 and even when the story started, it was that Kate um, YT J Jackson and the girl were the ones trying to exploit mm -hmm. um, um, okay. Kevin Hart. So there's a lot of blame games happening with this story. Um, the, the fact of the matter to me is that Kevin has to be held responsible. He's the one who has a celebrity name. I know he needs to be careful. He's the one who had a wife that was pregnant and married. Well, and she's she forgiven him and uh, she's moved on. So, yeah. uh, forgiven, for, even, even the scripture says that forgiving doesn't always mean that you don't bear the consequences. Mm -hmm. Like you can be given salvation, but you still bear the consequences of the sins that you have committed depending on how dr drastic that what is what is the consequence you're talking about now a lawsuit <laughs> no, I mean, because he now is in it already the question yeah. now really is was he aware 
that um he was that they were being filmed by JT. That's something we would That's, never know because you know he doesn't even I don't want, want to, to go. judge. I don't want to feel. Like, I I don't want us to look at it from the angle of saying oh you had sex tape and oh you're being punished for it and blah blah blah. It wasn't even a sex tape. It was more like a audio we couldn't actually see them on audio <laughs> of them we are you sorry know. you don't enjoy this next day for my <laughs> but um, i'm just saying we need to find out who is like yeah. because kevin is acting like the victim right now like yeah. okay i was betrayed by my friend and this lady is also saying kevin sets how yeah. so i, I, don't I, I, know I think the person that has the upper power is the person that was defamed which is that girl she's the one that has gotten the most flag she was, and it was defamed yes and she's the person that her voice was leaked without her permission right i think she and kevin we would say both of them bear the bronze because his marriage was on the line right his his reputation was on the Scaria. line had to, yeah a lot of well, the, the problem the with that is that people so don't think JT that, that you would say yeah, the problem is that people really don't think you. that J, that jt was the only person in that that's why because when she heard it she filed a case against kevin and that person because she didn't know that um they were not working together so mm. now we're trying to prove that they were not working together mm. but then that doesn't still mean that she wasn't defamed so then how do you solve that it's, it's a messy triangle <sighs> okay <laughs> do you want mm. to <laughs> let's just watch the space and see how this plays out all right it's time for a quick break one return it's phone care akin daily below versus nigerian slave doctors so we'll be right back Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Funke Akindele Bello is asking if it is proper for a female doctor to fix long nails, lashes, and hair. Um, apparently, she went to a hospital in Ikoi, Lagos, Nigeria, where she encountered a female doctor whose acrylic nails were so long that she had to type with her knuckles. To answer her question, we're joined by a medical practitioner and a health influencer, Dr. Kelechi Okoro. Hi, Dr. Kelechi Okoro. Thank you for your time. And um, as a medical practitioner, kindly respond to Funke Akindele's question. I'd like to say that everybody wants to look good. I mean, it's, it's not going to be... I, I don't think anybody wants to walk into a hospital and then the doctor that's attending to you is looking all unkept and haggard. Yes, the doctor is supposed to look good, but there has to be a line... I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, having your lashes fixed. But if you ha if you need to have your lashes fixed, I mean, it should be something that will just, you know, not be so conspicuous as to distract the patient. Okay. And then about the fixed nails, I don't fix my nails. But when I fix my nails, they appear quite natural. So if you, if, if you should fix your nails, they should be fixed neatly and not long long enough to distract your patients if you're that kind of person who likes to fix. I mean, because what you need to do with your hands in the clinic, you need to examine the patient. You don't want to um, inflict any pain or any sort of discomfort when you are um, examining your patient. So really long nails would distract and maybe make your patient look feel uncomfortable. So if you have to fix, it should be neatly fixed and then, you know, appear natural. And then for the long hair, I mean, um, the, the Caucasian white people, they have naturally long hair. And I don't think you would say anybody should cut their naturally long hair just to please a certain person. But if you have to, you know, um, wear long hair, especially in the clinic, I feel that it should be neatly tucked behind your ears. Same reason, don't distract your patient. 
and something that will not make you feel, um, you know, uncomfortable. Because I mean, when you have to uh, examine your patient and do some procedures, you don't want your hair flying all over the place. And for goodness sake, it's a consulting room. It's not a theater. If a doctor is going into a theater, um, a, a, an operating room, they would have to wear, you know, um, something over their hair. So it's not all over the place. But for a consulting room, any hair do would, would do as long as it is neatly tucked. And I mean, you look um, good enough for your patient to appreciate and not to distract the patient or come off as um, unserious. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Kerr, for that one. And um, I think she said it all for me, except you want to add more. Yeah, I think she basically covered it. But um, apart from distracting your patient, I think there's more to it than distracting your patient. So my first question is, um, what uh, field of medicine are you practicing before you even because if it's, if it's a surgeon, obviously, I don't see why you would have acrylic nails. And like she rightly said, you cover yourself if you're going to the, um, what's it called, to the theater. But um, if you have acrylic nails, imagine you're um, performing a procedure and then one of it falls into the person's stomach. You wear beat. gloves. Yeah, I know, but just, just imagine like things happen, occupational hazards. So um, first- Fall into the glove. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> They're really hard, you know. They're really what? Well, which is why, why she said if you're going to do it, it has to really look very natural. Natural, yeah. yes. I so, can understand why Funke is asking that, though, because when we when we think of doctors, we think of people who are dedicated to doing important things that are, like you're saying, um, intricate details and things like that. It, it would bother me, even with the eyes. Like, can you see properly with the lashes? Can you <laughs> hold my scissors right? Can your hair not fall in my... Mm. So I, it's not like she's asking a ridiculous question. Mm. Mm. Now, we don't need to know the details of whether or not she's going into the sal um, into the surgery room or she's we're just, we're just thinking it's a, yeah, yeah we're just thinking a nurse you know it's it's like if you go to a a, 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 a a what's it called a banking whatever and the person has tattoos all over their face and piercings all over their their face we have conversations like that about, about dressing because we always just want to think those those things associate like someone who's like all over the place and bubbly and, and we want somebody who can look at our numbers well can handle our money right so it's just it's just perception That's profiling now. of course it is it is profiling and it's not based on facts whether or not that person can do the job is different from what we think when we look at them mm. um so that's what i'm saying there's nothing wrong with her asking that question it's not a stupid question it's a very natural thing mm. Okay, I'm glad we were able to address that. So moving on to the next story, relocating to Canada does not guarantee success. Being where God would have you be is the secret. It's a your provision is normally tied to your divine location and placement. And if it is Canada, great. But make sure you are where God wants you to be and just not following the trend. This is coming from gospel artist Nathaniel Bassi. I beg you for the <laughs> Please follow the trend. Start. <laughs> it's not good. It's not. It, it, it doesn't guarantee you success. But what is success? A Nigerian talking about success is so funny to me because you could have all the money in the world, but your your health system still is crap. You're still going to enter traffic. You're, being nice. your you're still going to kill you. Put it that way. <laughs> you're still going to have no power. Not um not um what's it called? Not not a constant power supply. So what is success? Like what are you talking about? Moving to Ghana by statistics will give you 10 years extra in terms of your life expectancy. <laughs> so if you want to go to Canada, start applying right now, uh, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> as much as I, I understand where he's coming from, if you want to look at it from the spiritual angle, I mean, but sometimes, or most times, when we're having general conversations, or you're just putting things out to advise people, our advice is not to start coming from a spiritual mm -hmm. angle, mm -hmm. because people will eat and survive before they start connecting to their spiritual mm -hmm. side. And if relocating to Canada or wherever it is um, works for you, then please, by all means, because you cannot argue the fact that there is more opportunities. Of course. There is something called job guarantee. So you're not working means oh, you now, do not want to work. Why are you now like going no to the basics of just surviving? We're yeah. not even talking about where you want to work, the industry, mm -hmm. the pay. No. We're not talking about any of that. We're just talking basics Be of what a survive. human being needs to survive. Three square meal, shelter. <laughs> and, and 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 feeding like we don't even ha we don't really have that locked down mm -hmm. so let's not even go into spiritual is like on a higher scale and god is everywhere isn't it you can find mm -hmm. that fulfillment he can, place you he can use he can you, place you right isn't it he use them in prison he use them <laughs> 
uh uh-uh, you can <laughs> the story in the bible has many places where people have worked in different spheres of life and they've worked and they've and fulfilled canada their, i think right? canada ghana can be <laughs> your first place to start and it's not really to be honest with you, i don't really like to promote the fact that i'm not patriotic mm-hmm. and an ideal situation i would want to say the opposite i would want to say you know stay stand for your country and we only have one home but if you want to survive sis uh, move <laughs> I'm not even going to look at it from the spiritual aspect. I just want to look at it from the enabling environment, moving to a place that will enable you to do so much more because you never even realize the things you're entitled to until you leave this country. Yeah. Like working extra hours. I'm going to use the word enable. I mean, at least it will enable you to succeed because mm. it's saying yeah. success, right? Mm. So we're saying move to a place that enables you to succeed. succeed. It's yeah. that simple. Yeah. If you can, I mean, and, and don't get and you me, don't have to really pray your yeah, way into no. everything. Like and don't get me wrong, we're not even saying that you can't make it in Nigeria. We're here together. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we're living will, here, will yeah. But if you, if if that is something that is on your mind and you have the capacity, because not everybody has the capacity to actually travel, especially in twenty twenty, it gets harder by mm-hmm. the second to leave the country. So if you do have the capacity and it's your interest, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, especially if you're living in this country. Everybody tends to put spiritual with everything right now like my travel now has to be spiritual no uh, like yeah. please it's my choice don't <laughs> advise but I, but to be honest like you rightly said um, if you want to look at it from the spiritual aspect I get where it's coming from but I'm not interested in where it's coming <laughs> from <laughs> Okay, I think that's the best way to put it. We get where you're coming from, but uh, the situation of the country is not making us interested in where you're coming from. Anyway, it's time for a quick break. When we return, we have one more story to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Finally, um, Dremo calls out artists who is unwilling to pay for collaboration. So apparently from his long rant on Twitter, it seems he had a collaboration with a certain artist, which we can assume is an upcoming artist. And um, he asked for his money and the guy was like, calm down. I still have other people to pay. Was he saying you should calm down on his price or calm yeah, down? Yeah, he said calm like, down like, on, his on the price because price, he's, right? he's not the only person he's Let's go to pay. With. Yeah, so he came to run to say, if you don't have money, don't do music, go and work on your music and get to a point where he will listen to your song and feel like he wants to vibe to the <laughs> song. I'm like, oh, wow, Jem will not. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's the, that's the beginning and the end of the story. Jemo is hot and if you want him on your song you have to pay and have his money yeah. i don't know how much or be hot anyway. as well uh, yeah be hot so he can listen and say i want to be on your song mm. first of all um i don't see anything wrong with what Primo is doing because um, a lot of people pay to feature artists in their song mm-hmm. and um, even though Dremo is not because of his um style of music which is rap um, he's is not he really, yeah, he's a mm, rapper. Mm. He's not really getting that recognition like other people like Because he's a rapper. Can. Yeah, because um, a lot of people. Rapping do. is not rated. Mm. Yeah, it's underrated <laughs> in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness, okay. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, but in his right, Dremo is quite big and is one of the best rappers in Nigeria as well. Mm, wow. Yeah, he's very, very good. You mm. said what you said, period. 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 No, it's periods. <laughs> period. It's T at the end, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Drops mic too. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, you're done. <laughs> no, oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not done. I'm picking it back up. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like I was saying, um, 
if you want someone like Jemo, so the thing is, they had an agreement. It's mm. not just coming out to say that um, I want money. Do you understand? Like, you should keep quiet. What kind of agreement is that you will not you will not get paid before you do your work in twenty twenty in any know. business? Why do why would you get paid after? Yeah, is he, he's not be, serious about his business. It could be the relationship. Which he doesn't understand. have a relationship. There no relationship. If there was a relationship, he, he wouldn't, wouldn't even be, be coming Twitter out and this. going doing all that. You met somebody that's not high. Um, it's not a big mm. person. You're not feeling the music. First mm. of all, mm -hmm. why are you doing collaboration with someone that you're not feeling their music? Okay. Shali as one of the best yeah, rappers in Nigeria, Nigeria. like he first said. And then now you okay, you've done that because why not for the money? And you're not even securing your bag. Like everybody knows that. In that, especially in this country, like you have to be woke. Get my, at least put fifty percent down. Mm. And I'll do my music and then you pay after because mm. this is not the first time we've had scandals of people not paying um, after they've done music. So, what are we talking about? Like, and you work with Davido. It's not like you know you don't have that those um, structures in place to be able to put your contract down. You know, pay a down payment or something, and then you're coming out to just show yourself. But you said what I'm you said. I'm glad the industry is working now. So um, I'm sure that artists, um, the mystery artist won't be able to put out the music until he pays the drama. Music, yeah. no, no, but if, if the industry is working and he knows that that is what's going to happen, what's why is he ranting? Yeah. Just chill and yeah. wait for him to say he's ready to pull out the song. Then we'll start and I think it's just the a warning to other people that want to work people. with the drama. Oh, so wow. know that you need to pay. Pay mm. me my money. You feel is me? that a line from his song? No, that's okay. a line from the bunch. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I think that's our wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Applause TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my exciting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Oshokaye, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Stay with us.